Hi everyone. I hope all of you are doing good. In this video, I'm going to tell you about how to add new fields which are not available in mass transaction. You cannot add any field. You can add it based on the table, but uh, whatever the fields which are available in the mass transaction, the standard BAPI which was available in the back end of mass transaction, right? Those fields only you can do it and remaining fields will not be visible although you add it. Okay, so let me show you that uh, two examples, which is visible and which is not visible. So let us go to mass transaction. And uh, I choose object type related to purchase requisition. Execute it, select a ban, and um, you can give any PR, maybe two. So go to list of fields. See, I don't see the deletion flag, and also I don't see the closed indicator. So both are not available. So what I want to add here. So what I can do, go to SM30. The table is mass FLD ST. MESS FLD ST. Go to enter conditions. It's a cross client. It will generate the transport request also. Click on table name or you can go with the object also. So I'm giving the EBAN table. So this is the EBAN table. System is giving that uh, object type BUS2105 EBAN, and these are the list of fields available. If you want to add any new field, you can click on new entries or you can select any one line and click on copy so that the first two fields don't have to input. So EBAN is fine and you want to input the field name. Which field you want to input? Go to new screen. SC11, a band. Click on display. So, deletion indicator. Okay, deletion indicator is LO, EKZ, EKZ or EKZ. LO. EKG. Okay, we have added. And you want to add one more field called closed indicator. So, what is the closed indicator? Go to SC11, slash on SC11. A band so the field is EBA KZ. EBA KZ is the closed indicator. EBA KZ. it's already exist. So what we are going to do LO KZ and also we are adding EBA KZ. So it's already added. Okay. So now you save it. Two fields are added. Save in the TR. Now you go to mass transaction. BS2105. Select a band. Click on execute. Give the P1 PR number. And then click on list of select fields. Let us activate this NO again. Okay. List of select fields. You can see here deletion indicator has come, but the closed uh, didn't come. Okay. So even uh, I tested in the real time and also in the IDS system, the closed is not visible 
So in the back end, the closed is not uh, defined uh, as part of that standard program. So the system is not allowing all the we are adding. So I have added the deletion indicator. And now I can pass the value. Select, click on mass. Select the column, mass. Okay. And then save. So this is the way how you can add the new field, which is not available. And um, if you are uh, available, for example, so it is giving some message related to purchase orders. So okay, it's kind of slash an ME53N. So in this video, you have seen that how to add the new field to the mask, but you cannot add any field which is available in the backend that only will be visible. Okay. So it was just giving a warning message only. There are already purchase orders available, but still it will delete. That's what I was mentioned in some other video related to deletion also. You can still delete, although there is a PO, okay. but a warning or uh, information message, right? That message has come. This is the way how you can uh, add the new fields to the existing one. You can try for purchase order, sales order, any documents. I hope it will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching.